Oh, uh, three weeks before some really BS in medias res thing. Wow, that is very proactive of the Mexican drug cartel. Stand back, everyone. I'm calling a meeting. Certain elements in Washington... I'm not going to name names, Steve. ...into Mexico, and much of the public is behind them on this. But the Mexican government claims that such an action would be tantamount to a declaration of war. And we were like, who cares? It's Mexico. We can take them. Uh, actually, looking at the military spending budget, we totally couldn't. And seven federal agents are dead, and that simply can't stand. Of course they can't stand. They're dead. Investigation. The DEA has compromised itself enough already. FBI. We've been investigating the Mendoza Look, can we just all agree that we're all very yeah, compromised? Right. Well, Enough! This interagency bullshit has got to stop. I know you're all painfully ethnically diverse, but seriously. Dixon. She created this task force and she'll be running it. Miss Dixon? Hehe, <laughs> Dixon. Why does it sound like they recorded their lines inside a tin can? Agent Stone was investigating the sale of military weaponry to the Mendoza cartel in Juarez. Why the hell wouldn't you tell us that? It just did. Why do you think Why we're having this meeting? Bridge, Agent Gara. The Mendozas are a new player in Juarez. Yeah, they started Not playing the game and then immediately Mendoza. realized it was terrible and stopped. The scope of their operation is growing exponentially. You know exponentially Drugs doesn't just mean fast, right? We've never seen a new cartel grab power so quickly. Frankly, we're impressed. We've got the McCake and we need everybody to sign this card. Of our federal law enforcement agency. That bombing was no accident. They of course it wasn't an accident. Who was arguing that it was an accident? And that's why neither the DEA nor the FBI are running this operation. We have a totally autonomous team. But like robots? And I have another meeting to get to. More important than this meeting? Was a different government building bombed? Don't fuck it up. Hey. Let me introduce everyone. First, Dave Upfuckerson. Probably shouldn't have brought him in. Special Agent Eddie Guerra. He lies. He cheats. He steals. ...completing his tour of duty in Operation Desert Storm. He holds the record for the single largest drug seizure in Southern California history. That achievement somewhat tempered by the fact that it was his car. ...in the investigation who managed to survive the bombing. He's the only one who remembered to duck and cover. FBI Special Agent Kimberly Evans. Present. The youngest agent ever to win the FBI Medal for Meritorious Achievement. She single-handedly apprehended a serial killer who had murdered 32 women and in the process saved the life of his last victim. Seems and like she could have gotten there sooner. He wasn't a serial killer then, he was just some murderer. To the cartel. So you're in charge overall, but who's in charge on the street? McGruff, the Detective crime Benjamin dog. McCall. He's with LAPD's Robbery Homicide Division. What? A Do we have fishery and wildlife here, too? Do we need every moment single moment. government agency involved in this? Homicide detective. Yeah, the EPA is here. They're very concerned about the environmental impact of a war with Mexico. All that blood getting into the groundwater. ...contacted Detective McCall the day after the bombing and told him her father had been threatened just the day before. Which means we actually have a suspect and a witness. Oh, uh, it's gonna be one of those Professor Layton brain teasers. The suspect wears red, but the witness lives in an apartment. Why not come to us? Have you met us? We're unpleasant people. We spend all our time sitting around in smoky rooms. That's why. That's right, Agent Gara. They all served together in Vietnam. Not in the war, they just all worked at a steakhouse. So two became cops? And one became a crook. Worse than that, he's an asshole. Okay, so if the crook is an asshole, but the suspect drives a blue car, then who is the wit- This is really hard. You'll have whatever you need as far as resources. But in terms of manpower, you're on your own. So, like the A-team, but shitty. Well, like the A-team with lots of government oversight. So, shitty. I'm going to hit the Mendoza cartel as hard as humanly possible. Uh, wait, shouldn't we use, like, guns and stuff? ...responsible for that bombing, and protect the witness, because without her, we don't have anything. What if we find out the cartel has someone inside the FBI? Or the DEA? Or the EPA? You know, that could be a thing. Oh, nobody ever tries to infiltrate us. Because if that happens... A lot of innocent people are going to get hurt. I suspect a lot of innocent people are going to get hurt regardless. A foreign asshat who comes after us in our own country will get lit up like a goddamn Christmas tree. And let me tell you, around my house, we know how to light up Christmas trees. We are very festive.